This is uh, our next car seat, the Maxi Cozy Tinker, uh, gone with a central graphite color. And uh, again, this is how it will arrive. Do not be alarmed by the lack of protection. Darrell, who distribute Maxi Cozy, say that the car seat in a box, as is, is just fine. So we take their lead. Let's have a look at the Tinker. All right, very similar to the Cabrio fix. Uh, it looks like a simple belt mechanism once again. Again, same clip, uh, same uh, design there. Let's actually call these back side by side. So here we are, this was the Cabrio fix, this is the Tinker, this one will be superseding this. So I was just talking about the, the wedge and head snuggler on this one. That's now gone to this wedge with this uh, format of snuggling. It's just a slight change. Uh, other than that, I'd say this one's the, so the Tinker that is, is a bit sleeker. These are no longer rounded, a uh, bit more, uh, yeah, a bit sleeker generally, but it's a bit more square, a bit more square, just just a bit of cosmetics really. And uh, again, so the canopy was tucked away in this plastic cover here, whereas on this one, it's now, um, it's right there, so you can just pull it up. I, I'm guessing what happened is that customers were forever con contacting Max Cozy saying, we cannot find that the canopy, it's missing. And so Max Cozy have just gone, fine. Here it is, it's right there in front of you. So, um, oh yeah, that actually works quite nicely. It, uh, it's right there. If you remember the, the Cabrio fix, uh, I had to wiggle it out of here, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and eventually connect it to these. Whereas this one, there it is, whether you're up or down it was available again there are these which uh, now i'm wondering there's nothing to connect it to with this one you had the canopy connecting to that with this one even though there is something to connect it to the hood definitely doesn't connect to that uh, if i am wrong i will let you know okay so back on the tinker it's uh, those buttons to uh, up and down this, that's down. So I think that might be, so yeah, that's a good rocking motion. So say you're in a coffee shop, you got your foot here, you can nicely rock this car seat. That rocks very nicely indeed. And that, let's put that up. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, oh, it's slightly more forward now rocking. But uh, yeah, it actually works really nicely at the back to rock. Okay, let's fold these back down. Let's assume you don't need that. There you go. Okay, let's have a look front and back. Uh, there's no storage pocket like there was on the Cabrio fix. It's just the belt position. And these are your two belt positions here. That is your release button from the base. Uh, so now let's try this on the base. Very uh, reassuring clicks. Let's have a look on the base. Now, I don't know if you can see this. You've got the two greens from earlier and the three greens because the base is in. That was very easy indeed. Now, uh, I think these two buttons release you from the uh, car seat. Uh, I think it's this button that releases you from the base. So we're on the base, green lights. Uh, you see that this this is this is now. Ah, look at this. That needs to go on there. And yeah, it's on that side. Yeah, that's out of the way now. Maybe that's how it should have been. Maybe I was hadn't connected it properly. So those are three lights, two lights that clicked on very easily. We're good to go. And again, so to release. So these ones are your push chair release buttons. It's this one down here, or if you're on the other side of the car seat, this one down here that releases 
the car seat from the base. So we click and we're off.